Hello friends, this is Miss Carmen from the Pflugerville Public Library and I am very excited to be in your homes again for baby time. Let's get started by singing our traditional song, The More We Get Together. More, together, happy, and friends. Those are the signs that we will be using as we sing along. Let's do them again. More, together, happy, friends. Ready? The more we get together, 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 oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay, good job. Let's try it again. The more we get together, 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 oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, happier we'll be. Good job. Next, I'd like to share a story with you. And this is the story of a little mouse who is hiding inside a house. So, can you help me figure it out? Yes, we have five houses. Parents, count with me. And touch your little, little one's fingers from left to right as we count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, couldn't put them all together, but usually the best is to count from left to right because that's the way that we're teaching them to use their eye muscles when they read. Here we go. Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding behind the yellow house? What do you guys think? Is it under the yellow house? Oh no, it's not there. Can you tell me what color you want to do next? Very good. I heard purple. Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding in the purple house? No, it's not there. How about we try red now? Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding in the red house? No. Pink is my favorite color. Maybe it's there. Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding in the pink house? Oh, it was there. It was there. So there is nothing under the brown house. Very good. Very well, now I'd like to share a story about a tiny mouse. This is a story I actually learned from our friends in Jaybury, and I want to thank those ladies for sharing with us. Very good. After every line, please make sure you're clapping your hands twice, like this. Can you do it? Very well. Easy. So here we go. Behind the tree and under the house, there lived a teeny, tiny mouse. She liked to sing. She liked to tap. But most of all, she liked to clap. She clapped all night. She clapped all day. She clapped to frighten the cat away. Yeah! It is a lot of fun. Okay, let's do it again. You guys are ready? Behind the tree and under the house, there lived a teeny, tiny mouse. She liked to sing. She liked to tap. But most of all, she liked to clap. She clapped all night. She clapped all day. She clapped to frighten the cat away. Meow! Good job. Thank you guys for joining me today. Before we wrap up, I'd like to share some books with you. This is Mouse Count. Mouse Count is a book written by Ellen Walsh. And it helps the kids to 
learn numbers because it does account. Then she also wrote mouse shapes, which of course teaches kids about shapes. And there is one that I love too, and it's called mouse paint. In that one, the kids can learn how to mix colors and how the primary colors create the secondary colors. So I hope to check those out from the library sometime. With that, goodbye everyone. I hope to see you here next time. Let's please sing with me. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon on another day. Bye everyone, happy summer. <laughs>